With the new releases of Sigil, there have been some changes. I've downloaded the most recent release, which is this one, version 0.9.15. And what I've noticed is that when you open up an EPUB file, there's no what you see is what you get, no WYSIWYG editor. Sigil's done away with what we were previously known as book view and are providing code view. But the good news is they have provided an integration with an editor called Page Edit. And so what I'm going to have a look at now with you is how do we install Page Edit and get it working with Sigil. So over here in my browser, if you go to this URL, github.com sigil ebook, this is the page where you can find the various um, software that's available and download Sigil. So here's the Sigil software where you can get the latest versions. And here's Page Edit. Let's click on that. And what we want is Release. And so here we have some information about Page Edit. And down here, Assets. And this is where you'll find the files you need to download. So I work on a PC. And I'm going to download this one. Here's the package for Mac users. And I'll demonstrate how you set this up on a PC. So download that file. Now in my Downloads folder, what I get is this guy. And this is a self-extracting file. So click on that. And it'll extract, extract all of the contents into a folder. So there's our page edit folder. If we look inside, there's all of the, the software files. I'm going to take a copy of that. I'm going to come here to my local disk, my C hard drive, and paste that into program files. So apparently I've already got one there, so I will continue and override that. So in program files now, if you scroll down, you'll see here's the sigil folder. And there's the page edit folder. So that's that part done. So from within Sigil now, what we want to do here is to go to Edit Preferences. And we're going to set your preferred alternative external HTML editor. And that's in the General Settings tab. So all we need to do here is to tell Sigil where page edit is. Browse. Program Files, it's come straight to for me, but if not, navigate to Program Files. Scroll down and find the Page Edit folder. Open that. And here you'll find the Page Edit.exe. You may not see the exe, but it's the application. I click on that. So that path is now loaded there. Click OK. And so what will happen now is this icon will now work to bring up my introduction in Page Edit. So there we go. So now you can see the what you see is what you get editor. It's styled in the same way that Sigil is. And what you need to remember here is that as you type and edit and change things in your document, that you save. So what I'll do is I'll just add a little bit on here. And you'll see in the background in Sigil, there's my introduction in the code view. So if I save this now, it's immediately updated in code view. So what you've got to do is to work here with your editor here. And when you require to come in and, and change the code or modify the code, come into Sigil directly. And both, both um, saving in both programs here and here will update the file. So this is a tutorial on integrating PageEdit with Sigil, the new version.